Vladimir Putin has ramped up the rhetoric against the West, saying he is prepared to use more than just tanks after feeling threatened by NATO's military package to Ukraine. In a fiery speech to Volograd to mark the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Stalingrad, Putin said he was ready to draw on Russia's entire arsenal, which includes nuclear weapons, in retaliation to the West's aggression. Vladimir said, we don't send our tanks to their borders, but we have the means to respond and it won't end with the use of armored vehicles. Everyone must understand that. A modern war with Russia will be completely different. Putin also appeared to aim the threat at the U.S. as he insisted Russia has friends all over the world, including on the American continent. A carefully worded reminder that the Kremlin can still count on the likes of Cuba and Venezuela as allies. Loyalists in the Kremlin echoed his messages today with spokesperson Dmitry Peskov, warning that Russia will make greater use of its potential in response to the West escalation of the war. And Putin, who is closely followed by two aides carrying black bags, said to contain his nuclear football, the briefcase which can launch a nuclear attack from anywhere in the world, invoked the spirit of Stalingrad in his menacing comments. Of course, Stalingrad was the bloodiest battle of the World War II, when the Soviet Red Army, at the cost of over a million, million casualties, broke the back of German invasion forces in 1943. But the president said today, it's unbelievably but true. We are again being threatened by German leopard tanks. Unfortunately, we see that, that the ideology of Nazism in its modern form and manifestation again directly threatens the security of our country. And Putin evoked what he said was the spirit of the defenders of Stalingrad to explain why he thought Russia would prevail in Ukraine, saying the World War II battle had become a symbol of the instructable nature of our people. We'll keep you updated on these developments. This is coming from the Daily Mail. A lot going on in the world. Stay with TNS. Look for our shorts as well. For Texas News Studio, Mark Myers. Talk to you soon at the next report.